We pray. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. Those who are watching the internet, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. At first, let us see the uh, short movie of Hakuba's Nelgoi Camp.
Thank you very much. Well, from February 28th till March 2nd, um, there'll be a Hakuba camp. Hakuba camp will be held. Hakuba Sunergoi camp will be held. And I praise, I praise the Lord because the uh, the uh, place that the camp will be held is a very beautiful place, and I um, participated in the various kinds of uh, um, Christian camps in the past. But then, um, the this one, this camp, is a special one because um, the place is very beautiful, and the the um, the public bath is a very um, nice. And the uh, uh, food is a Viking, and um, it's a very great thing. And also, uh, we experience the presence of the presence of the Lord strongly at the camp. And um, I joined in the Christian camps before, but then um, there are uh, shrines um, in those places usually. But then um, at this um, camp place, um, there's no uh, shrine. The song that I'm singing now is is a song that I I always sung when I was a little, and this song is talking about an hakuba. And I every time I sung this song, um, I always wanted to go to hakuba. But now um, I'm going to hakuba um, twice a year. And I can go to Hakuba many times. So I used to live in Omori, so I went to Omori from Haneda. And when I was uh, uh, riding on the airplane, and this might be my imagination, but I see uh, people's heads. So when I was riding on the airplane, and I see people's heads. And when I was a little, I always wanted to ride on the airplanes. And now I'm, I'm riding on the airplane so many times and God fulfilled my desires. And also at the Hakuba camp, uh, the presence of God is very strong. And I've never seen God's work um, in a stronger way than Hakuba camp. And God has been um, expanding the works of uh, filming and also um, sh uh, movies. And at the Hakuba camp in summer, um, there is a gospel contest, and God has been expanding the works of gospel in music, like music ministry. And last week, um, Gift, the gospel group, um, they went to um, Fukuoka Airport, and they sang gospel songs at the Fukuoka Airport. Uh, six million people's um, go through the airport, and the president of the Fukuoka airport uh, came to gifts, and God uh, opens uh, doors in the various ways. And when concerning Hakuba camp, um, um, the God is expanding his work uh, through the camp. Please take a look at the uh, digest movie of Thanksgiving praise and the revival camp.
Thank you very much. Thanksgiving praise and the revival camp will be held from March 26th until thir uh, 31st. And anyone can join in this um, camp. So please um, join in this team. And as I said before, um, there's something that I I, I kind of misunderstood. Um, that is that um, I thought that uh, Japan, will, um, the revival will be taking place uh, in Japan first, and then the work will be expanding throughout the world. But um, I misunderstood. And and now I see that the uh, Anga has been using this camp and also Hakuba camp um, and everything God is using 
God is using everything to expand his work. And then also, as this uh, street revival was taking uh, took place in Los Angeles, and uh, Marin Calders is from um, America, and God is also building um, building up um, 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 his um, workers uh, in Japan. But uh, at the same time, God is expanding his work um, in America. Um, And do not uh, forget. Do not forget what God is doing now. <laughs> and Pastor Peter Kubota, he gave a testimony. <laughs> and God has been opening the door for us to have a, a relationship um, with the Hollywood stars and the Hollywood movie um, people. And now we have a um, relationship with um, those people who make um, films in Hollywood. And also um, God opened the door for us to have a uh, good relationship with uh, Dr. Steve. Uh, um, he has a um, television um, um, ministry. And also TLCCC in Los Angeles Church is now, now having a worship service on Sunday in a place where the Azusa Street took place. The one thing I felt, um, Pastor Oder, Pastor Ota um, said that the, uh, when she um, when she take um, people from church to go to overseas mission work, and the works are different and people are changed. And also my son, um, um, John, he has changed his life uh, through the mission trip in Cambodia. And also um, Pastor uh, Peter Hikaru, he, his life has changed. Um, he has a uh, um, gold hair and he, was, he has uh, earrings at the time, but then his life has changed through the uh, mission trip. And it does not work when um, pastors are um, um, gathered around him and then kind of like uh, telling him like what to do, this is the way, this is the way. But we didn't do that at all. And revival has uh, already taken place and God's work is going to be expanding. And also the persecution will be taking place in the future. So we need to be prepared. And there is God's will in this uh, uh, mission trip. So if and there are people who are called by God to join in this mission trip, please take a um, step by using your faith. And if you don't use your faith, you will not be able to um, deal with the situation that are going to take place in the future. So please use your faith and please come and join in this mission trip. And now we are going to look at the uh, one minute um, movie, the short movie. Three, the Bible writes about the great works of healing, and especially in the uh, uh, New Testament, there are various kinds of healings that happened. Healings has two purposes. First, is that the God heals people, and healing itself is the theme. In Mark chapter 1, verse 29 and the verse 3, um, uh, people are set free from uh, sickness. And through healing, we experience the Lord. And the gospel uh, central point is the salvation. So we need to remember that. So second, is that the uh, uh, healing leads to salvation. And Acts chapter 3, verse 6 through 8, and also chapter 4, verse 4, healings took place, 
and the people who saw the、uh, healing got saved, and healing and was a、uh, uh, trigger.、Uh, he was healing and led people to、um, salvation. So it's important that, that、um, we ask God for healing. And healing is one of the great weapons that the God prepared for the great works. Thank you very much. And at the TLCCC Church,、uh, many healings happen. So please continue to pray for healing. And God also says to this church that、uh, He is going to expand His work, and the church will be、um, bigger. So,、uh, what happened at the time of the Acts is that、uh, um, God's healing happened, and then people were many people got saved. And then probably I believe that the healings w- will be taking place,、um, and also、uh, dead people will be risen, and I believe that those things will happen. And recently,、uh, God is、uh, showing me to change my mind. And there are two different ways of、uh, thinking concerning healing. First is that,、uh, first is that uh, um, there are people who are to be healed, and there are others who are not going to be healed. And those who have God's will that they are going to be healed. Um, if they have an unbelief, that they are not going to be healed.、Um, if they have an unbelief, if they don't believe that the God is going to heal them, then healings would not be happening. And. If if there are people like who are not doing the will of God, um, they are not receiving healings. That kind of thinking. And also, um, in Paul's situation, and he, he, he has a thorn, thorn, that the、uh, he was not healed. And Mr.、Um, Toshihiro,、uh, he is not healed, and and also、um, there's a、um, person who doesn't have her on, 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 on. But God's God's glory are、uh, revealed through、um, those who are not healed yet. And another way of thinking about healing is that、uh, all people will be healed. The foundation of healing is that、uh, he, he, all people are gonna be healed. And however,、um, if there are unbelief,、um, those people are not gonna be healed. Or,、um, like in Paul's case,、um, he, he was not healed, so. So, but then on、um, the Bible says that the all sickness are going to be healed. And today's devotion was、uh, on Matthew chapter twelve. And in, pa- in past、uh, Matthew chapter twelve, it says that、uh, um, Jesus healed all people. So I can say that the the foundation of healing is in Isaiah chapter fifty three, and the healings includes he healing means that the、um, God heals all people. That's the foundation. And then the first Peter says that the、um, we are healed by his stripes, and so also. 
it also uh, Deuteronomy in the book of Deuteronomy those who follow God they they didn't receive sickness and now we can realize that the sickness um, is related to uh, sin and we are all sinners and we have a sins but then when we believe in the uh, cross of Jesus and our um, sins are upon Jesus so if we believe in the Jesus and we do not have a curses of sin that means that uh, on the reasons of uh, sickness are going to be stri stripped away and now you can see that the foundation of healing is that uh, God can heal all people so when we pray for healing And it's important that we believe that the all sicknesses are going to be healed. Probably um, healings will be taking place in various ways. And that the, the healings that are taking place now are not going to be, com cannot be compared to the healings that are going to be taking place in the future. So let us receive the power of the Holy Spirit and let us seek um, to heal for he to pray for healing. And let us now um, go into the Word of God. Chapter 12, verse um, 34. Uh, we are not talking about a brood of vipers today. <laughs> And brave vipers means that those who don't believe in God. Uh, what um, today's scripture say is that uh, um, the Bible talks about the um, words that we say. We are going to be judged for every careless word that we have spoken. Um, there are things that are I misunderstood when. The Bible says that uh, uh, there are judgment for every careless word. And I thought that the, uh, when I say to m pastor, uh, oh, he's an idiot, or, and, and I was thinking in that the uh, words that I say are going to be judged. And of course, there are words the bad words that I say are going to be judged. However, um, at the same time, the Bible, so the when I say idiot to my um, other pastors, um, I'm going to be judged for the words. But um, the central point of this, um, central point is uh, what God, God is saying is a different thing. In the book of Exodus, the Israelites people were grumbling that the, they said that, oh, God's not going to give us meat. And others um, in the Bible says that, the, oh, um, God is not going to open the door for us to uh, open the doors of heaven to give us food. The central uh, point is that uh, we are going to be judged for um, the words of unbelief. And uh, if we say the words that are not aligned with the words of faith, then we are going to be judged. So if we say idiot to others, um, of course, we are going to be judged for the words I s we say. However, uh, the central point is that uh, we are going to be judged for the words of unbelief. If we say, oh, I wonder if God is going to be able to um, deal on the solve my situation, solve my problem, probably there's no help for my problem. Um, 
the words that we say, those things are going to be judged. My future is not going to be good. I'm going to be dying under the bridge. Those words that I say, those words we say, we're going to be judged. We s if we say that the, if there's no God's help, then those words we say are going to be judged. In the Bible, um, in the Old Testament, in Old Testament, in, in the New Testament, uh, the faith is important. And those people who are um, against the faith, against the words of faith, they're going to be judged. So we need to be careful of words we say. We need to be, we need to check if we are saying the words of faith. So when talking about the words of faith, the proclamation of faith is important. And you're not um, brought up by fears, by the way. How can you or evil say anything good? For out of overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. So uh, what is uh, filling your heart? Words are coming from the heart. What you're thinking in your heart. You are speaking what you are in your heart. So if we say if we say that the God is going to work all things together for good in a good season, but uh, when troubles happen to your life, then oh, well, what's going to happen to my life in the future? The our words that come from our heart are going to be judged. What it's saying is that the words you say, words. So what do we need to do? When trouble happens to your life, there are so many um, promises that are written in the Bible that can fit your situation. So you can say that uh, uh, they are, uh, I'm, you can say that uh, I'm going to be seeing the great works in the future. When I was riding on the car, um, the drivers are caught by police. And drivers say that, ah, oh. after that, they say, thank you, Lord. The thanksgiving are um, deep inside of their hearts. But then they are grumbling. They say at the end that, oh, I can go to the Hakuba camp because I need to pay for the tickets. You don't need to say that. So giving thanks. So we say the words of thanksgiving. Oh, I, I, got, I got caught um, and I need to pay for tickets and thank you for that And but then there is a God's work behind this situation and I'm going to be experiencing God's work through this situation and I praise you Lord so we need to say that uh, we give thanks but then at the end we are kind of grumbling If we are grumbling and it's like a, we are putting sugar in the coffee and also at the end is putting a salt. And there are people are uh, who are um, uh, proclaiming that the, oh I'm uh, very sick, but then God says that uh, um, God says that the. Uh, those who trust in the Lord will not be put to shame. So we can say that the, uh, th and behind this sickness, and I praise the Lord because uh, God has a great plans um, behind this situation. 
we don't say that the um, even if we are praying like this, and for eternally, God's not gonna heal me. Those kind of things that we say, we are putting salt in the coffee. It's like I don't co I don't drink coffee, but then I think I prefer sugar. But um, we need to be careful because the uh, uh, words we say, uh, words we say, um, demonstrate our faith. We only not say uh, thank you, Lord, when the troubles happen. The Bible says that those who trust in the Lord will never be put to shame. And a great result will be um, happening. So when troubles happen, that we say that uh, um, I experienced trouble, but then I will see the great works behind the situation. We need to say with our mouth. We don't say that. Oh, why do I need to uh, experience these things? And why do I need to go through this? Uh, and uh, we're going to be judged for the words on, on, on careless, every careless word. On um, every careless word that are not aligned with the word of God. The every careless word means the words of uh, unbelief. And those things are related to our destiny. So if we say the words of faith, and we see the works of God. So when I was in high school, uh, oh, um, but the time is now limited. Oh, let me say um, for a little while. When I was in high school, I I chose I chose uh, music as a class, and I took a C. Pastor Okamaru and I uh, got sick. And I sang a song. And I was singing all the time. But then the uh, result was not good because I was afraid of the result. I just didn't want people to look at me in the in a weird way. And I was not able to sing because I was afraid of um, people around me. But when I was uh, having a special meeting in San Francisco, an evangelist, evan evangel evangelical church um, was an, uh, kindly an offering a place for us to have a meeting over there. So, so I was praising God and then boldly and lifting my hands and just worshiping God. And I was uh, singing in the spiritual songs, and and uh, I just did it um, according to God's will, and and I th I thought that the um, it would be a stumbling block to some people, but then um, those people said that uh, those songs were uh, from heaven. The situation were different. The turning point for me was that when I was afraid and uh, I, when I was worried, the result was not good. But then uh, when I stood to do the will of God, my life has changed. So we need to change our mindset. And because our um, um, traits are need to be changed, So when we say the words of faith, we will see the great works of God. Let's pray. Please um, touch each one of them. If there, uh, uh, there's, there's a, there are people who are like uh, uh, hitting on their heads. 
but then give thanksgiving and then if you use your faith and stand upon your faith and God is gonna bless you and there are people there are people who are um, say the words of um, worries so please repent uh, what you said but then use and speak the words of your faith And there are people who forget the promises word. And if you stand upon the words of uh, um, promises, then you will see the works of uh, the, the words of God. Let's pray for healing. Let's repent before God and let's pray for healing. In the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. The uh, the 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 spirit of sickness will be set free in the name of just be healed healed be healed be healed and those who have their um blurry eyes and those who have their um having a hard time hearing and also who have a sore throat god is healing you in the name of jesus we pray amen please stand up let's sing hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The grace of the Lord and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit will be with us forever. Amen. Please be seated.